me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is not a video about Corel Draw. This is a video, hopefully, it'll work out about color fill. I've taken a piece of board, just a piece of cheap, uh, clean pine. Clean meaning it has no knot holes. And I engraved it. And I used two different texts, a, a bold text and a really thin, fine text. And in this case, the coloring didn't really make it look all that much better. Uh, the pictures aren't really equal. This one was taken, you know, it just looks yellower and there, it's the same piece of wood. But if you did this in a red or a blue, it would maybe help the engraving pop out. And it does pop out a little bit more. But in this case, it wasn't that neat of a deal. So stay tuned for the other videos that I'm going to attach. And I'll show you how I did this. Thank you and I hope this helps. Today I'm going to talk about color filling your engraving. I'm going to be using a shellac made by Bullseye. It's a clear shellac. And you're just going to want to kind of coat the whole surface. Uh, you don't have to quite get the whole surface, but you want to get your engraving part done and you want to go from every direction. You want to brush that shellac into the grains of the wood and into the text. And I, I picked two different kinds of text today. One of them is a real thick font and the other one is a real thin. And you'll be able to see how much the color is going to just pop it out. Now, when you're brushing it like this, you're, you're kind of getting the shellac down in the text, but you're also getting it on the edges. And what the shellac is going to do, it's going to protect the grains of the wood from the, your paint pigments from getting into the wood. And normally you wouldn't have to do this, but on this fine text, and I really didn't get too much excessive, but you could get anything to kind of prop it up and let it dry upside down. That way, if any, if you got too much of the slack into the hole, it'll dissipate out and have more room for the uh, paint itself. All right, I've let the slack dry overnight, so it's good and dry. You can use any kind of paint. I'm using just the Rust-Oleum enamel today. And my suggestion would be a little bitty glue brush like this that you can get anywhere. They're cheap and they're, you can just throw them away. And you want to basically just get all the way down in the letters, uh, trying not to get as much glue, uh, paint on the surface because the more the more paint you have on the surface, the more sanding you're going to have to do. But you want to go over it real good and, and get in every facet of the corners and the edges of the letters. And after you put the first coat, I would suggest go back and, and um, dab it in there some more. But every, you know, a little bit of excessive paint you put on the surface you're going to have to sand off so you want to go every direction you could quite possibly even take an old rag and and wipe off the excess paint after you're done uh, so you won't have globs of paint that you have to uh, sand off but you want to you know get it in there thoroughly go every direction And that's all it takes. Okay, I've color filled it with black paint. I've let it dry about 12 hours, probably plenty. And I'm going to sand it now off with a random orbital sander. You can get this same sander at Home Depot. Um, if you do it a lot, get you a name brand like Porter Cable or Dewalt. But if you're just going to do it a little bit, 
Uh, you can get a, a lot of less expensive one. They really come in handy. So I'm going to show you in just a few little bit. that long.